Newburyport's Clipper City Rail Trail. Phase 1 was completed in 2010. It's a 1.1 mile multi-use pathway running between the MBTA commuter rail station and the shoreline of the Merrimack River. The Clipper City Rail Trail is an invaluable resource for residents and visitors, offering alternative means of exercising, shopping, commuting, or simply exploring the city's multitude of resources. In large part, this trail system owes its genesis to our past. The influence of the railroad in this region cannot be overestimated. In the 1840s, locomotion came on the scene and eventually surpassed clipper ships as our region's main economic vehicle. But rail began to fall from favor in the early 20th century. By the 1970s, rail's influence had pretty much vanished from these parts, leaving behind a network of abandoned corridors crisscrossing our communities. Around the same time, people with vision and passion talked of repurposing this once vital resource. Today, many stretches of the old rail system are once again an integral part of our communities, gaining new life and new purpose. But there have been many difficulties to overcome along the way. I think this waterfront section of the trail represents a pretty good metaphor for the challenges we all faced in putting this project together. There's multiple obstacles, uh, physical obstacles, financial obstacles, organizational obstacles they have, we had to overcome. About 10 years ago, some people wondered whether it was even possible to do this. For instance, over here, there's a private condominium association and public access was cut off along the waterfront. So we ended up building a boardwalk with the cooperation of the condominiums. Over here, we had a railroad embankment that cut off public access along the shoreline, going to this old rail bridge here. And so we ended up taking down a lot of stone and excavating out this section. And then over here, we had a highway bridge and uh, an underpass that was full of trash. And so we, we built a new underpass and worked with the state to, to repaint the bridge. So many people had to come together to make this project happen and there became uh, a great passion at all different levels from the citizens and from state officials and others that we could make this a really, a really great public space with the public artwork, the sculpture, with the boardwalk, with the planters, the plantings. And I think we really accomplished that here because of everyone's drive to make this a unique space. The Newburyport Trail is dotted with public art installations that greet people along the way. Some whimsical, poignant, bold, or beautiful, but all add up to creating a unique experience for those whose path they come across. Some works have been donated by the artists, while others were existing works purchased by the city. Still some were commissioned specifically for the trail. From raking to snow plowing, the upkeep of the rail trail is partially based on help from volunteers. Many of the trail's gardens are a perfect example. We've got an alchemical garden at the end of the trail that is remediating the soil of the old rail bed. We've got a labyrinth garden with edible berries. We have a beautiful botanical gardens at the Washington Street Gateway, and they're all created completely by volunteer gardeners. Phase two of the Clipper City Rail Trail is currently underway and will extend the trail another 1.5 miles. The entire trail is part of the Coastal Trail Coalition, an emerging 30-mile network of bicycle and pedestrian trailways linking the neighborhoods of Amesbury, Newbury, Newburyport, and Salisbury.
One of the benefits of uh, trail systems such as this one is that it's an easy way to get people out walking and bicycling. Newburyport in particular is known as a walkable community and this rail trail and, and the network that it attaches to, it makes it easy and attractive and enjoyable for people to, to bike, to walk, and to get from point A to point B. We read a lot of these days about the obesity epidemic in the United States and when we engineer these sorts of trails and into our communities that makes it a lot easier for people to get out and, and move in a healthy way that's natural for our lifestyles. Sometimes we forget our past, but these trails were originally forged for a different purpose with back-breaking labor by men in a distant time whose names we may never know. And now, through great effort, a new generation has resurrected that endeavor, repurposing it for a new use, and in a way, keeping their memory alive. <laughs> 